Hey everybody, we're in Proverbs chapter 18 today, looking at verse 22. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. It's really no secret that the Bible honors marriage. There's a passage in Hebrews where the writer instructs the church that the marriage bed is to remain undefiled, is to be kept holy. That in the book of Genesis, God brought Eve to Adam. He names her and they, they then give that passage about leaving your father and mother and cleaving unto your wife and the two becoming one flesh. Marriage is instituted by God. That's why you see it throughout humanity. It's been there from the beginning. It's something that God ordained. And we're living in interesting days where you're seeing an increase, especially among men, of the desire to abandon marriage, to not want anything to do with it, forget having a wife, forget having a family, just you know, pursue your career and, and get some sex on the side. This is not good. That is not good. It's, it's first of all not good for the people that are involved in it because you're going to end up bitter and you're going to end up angry when you miss out on one of the best parts of life. And number two, it's not good for the, the culture, for society, for men to not be seeking wives but instead just be seeking sexual gratification. Now there's a number of, of complaints and gripes that these kind of men have that I think are, are in many cases worth listening to, but that's not the point. The point that we need to get today is that finding a wife... Remember Solomon's writing to his son. You could also apply this to a woman finding a husband. Finds a good thing. This is the, one of the most important things that a man is to do in his life, is to grow up, make something of himself, marry a woman, raise children, have a family. And somewhere along the line, we, we dropped that part of being a man. That now we say a man is somebody that continues in this, this post-adolescent uh, frenzy of sexual activity, hookup culture, whatever you want to call it, uh, but there's no transition to settling down, finding a, finding a wife, t raising children. Like a, a man is somebody who raises children, who is able to manage a household. In fact, the Bible says if a man can't manage his household, then how can he be expected to manage God's church? Marriage is a good thing. It's something that grows up a man. It forces you, now there's somebody else depending on me. I better grow up. And so we need to remember this, that finding a wife is a good thing and the Lord blesses that. Malachi tells us that there is a portion of the Holy Spirit in the union between a husband and wife. But here's the issue. We cannot try to restore marriage if we don't first try to restore the rest of this. If you say, I want to have a great wife and a great family and sleep around when I'm young too, well, that's very unlikely to happen. I mean, even statistically, I mean, the Bible tells us this, but statistically, the more people you've slept with before you get married, the less likely that you're going to be able to develop a, a, a bonded relationship together afterwards. The more relationships you break off or divorce, or if you live together ahead of time, all of this decreases your chances of having a long, stable marriage relationship. We've got to rip up this whole thing from the foundations that men need to stop trying to live like young boys, stop looking to the example of these men that are so fed up and say, forget women, we don't need them anymore and start looking to what God has to say. And this could also apply to the ladies, although we've been kind of going after the fellas today. Ladies, you need to make sure that you're conducting yourself in such a way that you are a blessing when your husband finds you. That you're not constantly hanging the, the threat of divorce over his head. That he knows that he can trust you. That you're not keeping him from his children or belittling him. That he knows this is something that he's found that is good. So gentlemen, I am encourage you and I'm urging you. Not everybody's going to get married. Most people will. And I'd say most men should. If you're unable to control your sexuality, you need to get married. That's what Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians. And if you are finding yourself unable to grow up, unable to mature, you know what? A, a solid relationship with a woman, especially when children are in the picture, are part of God's plan to grow you up. I know not all of this is going to be something everybody loves, but what does it say? He who finds a wife finds a good thing. God bless you all. We'll see you next time.